tornado warnings, flash flood warnings, severe thunderstorm warnings, tornado watches. What is going on January 2023, right? Y'all, get prepared because if it's starting off like this with the weather, weather affects everything. All of these floodings and flash flood warnings and all of this stuff, that will affect the crop. Get your seeds, get stocked up, get your food, get stocked up. You're going to have to search for some, some things. You're going to have to search for it because shelves are running shorter and shorter each and every time I go to the store. Stock up on your medications. They are running short each and every time I go to the store. Pharmacies are closing earlier and earlier. I constantly get the alerts to my phone. Make sure you check the hours before you head out to your pharmacy. That is what the alert says, and now I'm passing it on to you. So get your medications, okay? So if something happens, you can take care of yourself in your home. Let's get into this video and talk about this crazy weather that we are having in January 2023. Seriously, get prepped up. Prep today so you're prepared for tomorrow. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. How are y'all doing, cousins? Well, I'm out here in the rain. That's how I'm doing. So, um, nothing waits, no matter the weather. And right now, we are all having some crazy weather one way or the other, whether it's flash flooding, thunderstorms, snow. It's just, I don't know. This is January. I don't remember this many tornado warnings and watches in effect. Um, I'm in North Carolina, but y'all know I travel to South Carolina and Columbia all the time. Um, they are under flash flood watches. They are under tornado watches, severe weather, um, thunderstorm watches. So be careful out there. Um, I have some clips of what's going on, what's going on with the weather and you guys just stay as safe as you possibly possibly can and this is another reason to stock up yeah i'm gonna use it as a reason to stock up because it really really is who wants to be driving in this weather and you're under flash flood warnings that means you don't know when it's gonna come and where it's gonna come from i'm surrounded by water honestly but i don't want to just be driving out there in severe weather like this so today is a day that i shall be home um but i wanted to bring you this weather alert keep you informed as much as i possibly can tell you to stay safe stay as dry as you can and if you don't have to go outside like i am <laughs> then don't do it but i gotta feed these animals they, they rely on me so if it's not something important don't go out there Some strong damaging winds, and there's been a handful of tornado reports as well. We're going to take you into the latest tornado warning that we have in effect. This is in South Carolina. It includes parts of Aiken, Edgefield, and Saluda counties. It does include Ridge Spring and Ward. We're seeing it track down to the eastern end of this tornado warning that is in effect. Been watching some potential for rotation. It hasn't been the strongest on radars indicated by the velocity here. We're looking at that mainly in that northeastern corner of the Warren area. That's actually not too far um, from Batesburg, Leesville, who is technically outside of the warning, but western side of town, you guys, I would get into your safe shelter. And there's so much rain, you would not necessarily be able to see it coming. So it, with the potential for not just the risk of a, a rotating storm and a tornado, also strong damaging winds, want to make sure that you stay away from any windows, stay inside, of course, with this. This whole cell is tracking towards Columbia in South Carolina. So we want to take it out here and time it out for you. We do have a look at the severe thunderstorm warning, which has now been issued, and it does include Lexington, South Carolina, and West Columbia. 
It includes parts of Lexington, Newbury, and Richland counties here. We are tracking it out for you. And as we continue to look at the timing, we've got it out at 1028 to West Columbia. So, again, you have about seven minutes or so to this gets in your direction. It's moving at 65 miles per hour. Really quick moving storm. So that will just have some forward momentum with it as well. 1032 Columbia, Pontiac 1041. We're now on the east side of town, 1055 Camden and Ashwood at 1109. And those are all areas out side of the warned area but we want to make sure that you have a heads up know this is coming your way strong winds i would say at least 30 to 40 miles per hour because that's what we've seen with all of the other areas that have seen this line of thunderstorms and the potential is there for 60 mile per hour winds as this storm moves on in the rounds of storms continue unleashing damaging wind across the south, leaving behind discouraging scenes like this one. A possible tornado left behind trails of debris in this Holtville, Alabama neighborhood. A lot out there to clean up today and a lot of assessments to be done by the National Weather So I had to move because it just started raining way too hard. But you guys, if you are expecting severe weather like this, things that you should be trying to do is get to the lowest part of your home if you have a basement that would be your basement if you have if you don't have a basement then that would be any room that preferably doesn't have any windows um and just keep your weather alert radio on i turned mine on last night when i found out all this was going to be happening and i actually had to program it because i hadn't programmed it for North Carolina and I've been here for a year so shame on me for that so I'm letting you know if you don't have a weather alert radio get you a NOAA radio okay and if you have multiple levels keep them on get one for each level just like you do with your smoke detector or carbon monoxide detectors so these are things that can help keep us safe Make sure if you have a generator, if it's solar power, make sure that you are fully charged with that. Because like you see, there is no sun out here. So keep those charged up as well. Um, they're saying they're not expecting any power outages, however. But it could happen. Because wind gusts are like 60 miles per hour. And usually, depending on where you are, it could knock your power out. So just be safe as possible yeah i'm worried about you guys i love you guys a lot flooding we had that from kentucky through western tennessee like around the memphis area where water actually got into some apartments there in west memphis tunica mississippi had about six homes with about six inches of water in there as well and just near the louisville area up in the big spring we had rainfall nearly six inches that wasn't the only area there was a lot of spots Gotta point out that we had hail and strong winds all the way north into northern Illinois, including up around Waukegan, where you had some hail yesterday, and a lot of trees down too in the parts of the south with those thunderstorms in Alabama. Oh, so many of us with that rain, the torrential rain and the wind making the music in Alabama yesterday. The wind chimes on this patio being whipped around as storms struck the town of Butler. Not far from here, we have several reports of trees down and buildings damaged due to the fierce wind there too um you know we are going to be watching for thunderstorms as we get through the day today with potential for severe tornado watches are up the one over here to the east including columbia and south carolina and savannah brunswick lake city and florida this goes until two o'clock this afternoon so watching this whole zone thunderstorms have been moving into this area this is the area that we're going to watch for the potential of severe weather in the back edge i would say from dothan to panama city even down towards port st joe you're doing better right now so you can kind of cut off that we draw that in white cut off that area where the storms are already through uh, but we're still getting into it right here right now in columbia south carolina that the top end of the line of thunderstorms now just moving in your direction we're going to move up the line from south to north starting down here where again that's your port st joe look it's all through for you Apalachicola, the worst of it is through tallahassee we are now getting into the worst of the weather it's, it's a heavy wet snow because temperatures are right around freezing look at this perfect for snowball fights and making a snowman this is unusual for january here in minneapolis the average low is 10. this morning we started off at 31. so we have the heavy wet snow it's sticking to the trees you're thinking what about power outages another report at this point because there's very little wind and that's the saving grace i mean we had a gust maybe at 15 miles an hour this morning